maybe a strong start. Maybe, uh, maybe you want to hold on to your finish? You uh, in, in reality, I'm frustrated a little bit because we've, we were better than this this week in practice, and some of the, some of the issues that popped up were self-inflicted wounds. So uh, it's a young team. It's, it, the, the frustration is that I was hoping we'd have it behind us, and it's still sort of in there a little bit. So this is the closest I felt to my California meet, you know, where at the end it felt like we left a lot out there. Um, you know, I, I, I hear 196.7 is a good score. I, I don't think for this team it is. I think this team's better than that. And uh, I think we, uh, we as a staff are starting to judge them on a higher standard. So I was happy with the fight tonight. I, I do believe they kept their head down. It got to be a tight meet at the end, which is great. Uh, it, it forced these guys into a pressure situation. Um, but we, we should be better than, than this. So sorry, I'm probably a little bit of a Debbie Downer. <laughs> Did it feel like, I guess, first of all, maybe a little monkey off the back of a ball, though, bouncing back from LSU? Yeah, yeah, I think vault's still not what, what we're capable of, but it was nice. We, we had to jumble the lineup around, and we still are experimenting with backups and trying to make sure that we have the right people in the right spots. Uh, so I still think we can squeeze more out of vault by, by all means, but... Um, but it was it was a step in the right direction after a, a, a real trip on the carpet uh, last week at LSU. I imagine this is kind of even more the team that you was looking for more out of. Yeah, I well, I actually you know score wise, I don't think the score on those two events reflects our performance. I I believe we were a pretty good beam team. I do think we left stuff out there, but I believe we. It, I, I walked away from beam thinking we performed at a pretty good level. Um, you know, we got a we got a stick landing stuff like that, and um, but we went to floor, and I think we ran out of gas. And it's just, look, we've been. This is our uh, fourth meet in 21 days. We had three meets in 14 days. These guys are exhausted. Um, two of them are, the the California trip took a lot out of them. You know, it's three time zones, and then uh, we have six hour bus riding back to LSU. That's that's not a recipe for success. Uh, it is a recipe for an upset for somebody else to come in and, and take one from us. So I was excited that our girls fought and didn't let that happen. Uh, but it is the schedule, and we have, to, we have to be able to rise to the occasion. So I think we've got to have expectations a little higher next week. Talk about using Cassie and how she's gotten better each week. Oh, I, I'm ecstatic about Cassie. Cassie reminds me a little bit of what Darion was doing last year at this time and two years ago what Drew was doing about this time. Uh, just turning into somebody that you can rely on on a consistent basis and uh, not, not just to get you a, a hit routine or a score, but to actually get a really good score now. Uh, I think she's finally figured this game out. Um, and she's thrown big gymnastics. We still got s some stuff left in the tank. We can still throw a little bit more, but um, really, really, really excited about where she's at right now. Extra day. Just how, you, how, do you, how does the extra day help affect how you train this week? Well, we get a full week of practice. This that that's that's new for us. Uh, we haven't done that since before Christmas. So um, I think it's evident that we have some little things to work on. So it, it it'll help us pick apart the routines a little bit, try to get a tenth back here and there. Um, but it's also rest. we got to be careful because they're really tired, and we're in the first third of the season. We don't need to go into the middle of the season beat up and exhausted. So we've got to balance it really well. I was asking them, was Drew, I don't know, was her ball something you wanted to see, especially after ball last week, to kind of set the tone? Flip, things, flip the script a little bit on Yeah, that. yeah. And – I really felt like Skyler was the one for me who set the tone because that's the second vault. That's what we were experimenting with. So we put uh, Jada first and, and let her do a, the, the lower end vault. She has a one and a half, but we let her throw the full and just wanted to get Skyler in a better position to perform at a high level. Trying to take the pressure off of her, the first person up can be a lot of pressure. And she goes out and throws a really good vault. So that was it takes a lot of the pressure off the next four who are throwing difficult vaults. It lets them try for big, big vaults with stuck landings. And that's what happened at LSU is when you struggle in the beginning of the lineup, everybody, the, the pressure ratchets up for each girl after that. It's really difficult to score at a high level then. I, I feel like if 
that helped set up what Drew did. And then, yeah, I think Drew got the energy going in the team. When does the experimentation stop and you start putting things in stone? Like well, right now, I, th I think the Georgia meet is going to be what we believe right now is going to be the best lineup we have. The experimenting is more for, in my eyes, are we, do we have somebody out there who can score at a high level that we're not aware of? I think we've solved a lot of those things, but the other end of the spectrum is if somebody, like, like Slappy didn't even go tonight. Um, she's been beat up and sick the last two weeks, so um, here, here's how it works. At LSU, I warmed her up on floor, and then she was sick enough that it wasn't a good idea to go. Well, we didn't rest her then. She still got beat up. She warmed up. She's beat up. So we didn't compete her, but we didn't rest her. So we had to take one this time on, on Tuesday and say, you are doing no floor for seven days now, six days. And then hopefully she comes, bounces back, our depth comes back. So I was happy to see Sabrina does a good job at the beginning of the lineup, and I was happy to see Gracie near the end actually do uh, a, a decent routine. She's a little out of gas, but a decent routine. So I believe now we can go into Georgia. We'll have eight people. If somebody's sick, somebody lands short on a landing, we have somebody to turn to. So the experimenting, intentional experimenting is over. <laughs> Unintentional experimenting still goes on.